Welcome everybody, my name is Reno and I'm going to show you what ResGo looks like when your customer is booking on your website. So I've logged into my account, Reno Falvo Photography. From the dashboard, I'm actually going to go take a look what my website will look like on the front end. Okay. And you'll see a list of all the tour and activities I've got listed. So this is what your customer is going to see on your website. So I'm going to make it easy. Let's pick Owl Photography. Okay, they're interested in this trip, they click on more details, and this will give them a, a, more of an overview about the tour. So you've got images here, you've got a list of your itinerary, inclusions, check-in, cancellation policies, all sorts of things that they can see, depending on what you wanna add. You've got an easy visual calendar, so anything in blue here is available. Anything, if there was something in orange, that means it's full, and anything that's not highlighted in any color, that means it's just not available that day. So in our case here, let's say your customer's interested on going on September 30th. They want to do the 5 p.m. tour. Okay, they can see the duration of the tour and the start time again. How many adults? So we're going to just do one booking here for one adult. Add to order. So think of this process like your shopping cart. You review your product. Your customer sees, oh, do I need to edit guest numbers? Do I run or remove the order because it's the wrong one? Um, or maybe they're actually wanting to book more of your tours and activities. They can do that here. But in this case here, we're gonna just go straight to checkout, okay? And the uh, next up is guest information. So this is two part. The first part here, you can see there's a little divider here. You got booking contact. So this is the person who's making the booking itself. It's mandatory no matter what. So in this case here, we're gonna say John Doe is making this booking. And then now we're actually going more into passenger information. So you've got additional information questions that you can ask the customer, especially the ones who are traveling. So for example, here I've made it mandatory that they have to list their photography experience. And you can ask these questions in different formats, drop down box, free text, whatever you like. Uh, you can add uh, transportation options for pickup and whatnot. And then this is the main customer information. So uh, I've set it up where it's mandatory that I need to know the full details of each passenger. Okay, so in this case here, we've got, you know, John Doe doing the same thing. Okay, and then we're gonna click to continue to payment. All right, you review the order first. Okay, then I've got it set up that the customer has to sign the waiver form because there's one traveler. Okay, this is uh, completely free. If you did not know, waivers are a completely free uh, option for you to use. So your customer goes on, sign, okay. And then moving on to payments. So uh, just so you know, Resgo does not collect any of the payments, okay? You need to attach a payment gateway. So in my case here, I've attached Stripe so that I can accept Visa, MasterCard, or whatnot. Uh, but in the point of the exercise, we're just going to do a cash payment, okay? Customer adds their billing address here. Oh, okay. Perfect. Fill in the blanks. They click to agree to the terms and conditions and complete booking okay so now that the booking is complete and done that's it your your customers all ready and set to go so the first part is just quick summary of what it is if your customer's like oh i want more booking details this section here will highlight some more details about the booking itself check in what to bring things like that and then if your customer they can, wants they can print a voucher and if let's say for example you at your check-in desk you're and you download the resgo app you can scan this QR code uh, to check in your customer. So it's super easy. But the booking flow from start to finish for your customer is smooth and easy. Okay. Uh, if you have any questions, let our team know. Otherwise, I look forward to the next video. All right. Take care, guys.